On the last today, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna break down shotgun umbar from lasso guard, right? So shotgun umbar is one of my favorite submission by far, where uh, I put it together, put in my professor, Marcelo Garcia, style of umbar, so I combine with my lasso attack, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple options. I'm gonna show you guys the shotgun umbar from lasso, I'm gonna show you guys a omoplata attack using lasso and a reverse umbar from lasso. So if you like the lasso, uh, if you like the lasso game, this video is for you, right? And even if you start building this lasso, if you start playing around with this lasso game, this video is for you, I do believe it's gonna help you a lot. If you don't know me, my name is Mark Chinook, Marcelo we're gonna see a black belt, five time world champion, big us. We're gonna jump right here into the lasso scenario, right? So there's a few ways that you can do this. So let's go into a, open my guard, sideways, get here. Please, I always say don't put the lasso and then go flat. That kills all your leverage. So make sure when you put lasso, you start sideways, okay? So first attack, we're not gonna spend too much time. Foot on the mat to help me pivot my hip around because from here, I won't be able to move my hip much. I need to take this foot off the hip to put on the mat. Once my foot touch, I'm gonna break mat's posture. Here, okay? So from here, that's when everything starts. Matter of fact, I just filmed uh, a couple of variation, three sweep and back takes from lasso guard in a previous video, so you can check it out. I'm gonna put the link around uh, on top of this video so you can check it out. Really amazing, that combines with this, goes really well. So now I broke uh, Matt's posture, right? So now from here, what I wanna do here, I wanna attack this elbow. Sometimes I tend to sweep, but I could not go anywhere. So I attack this arm right here. So what I'm gonna do, I keep this arm right there, my elbows on top of the hands. Now I want his, uh, his elbow line pointing up. Okay, so I came from here. Now what I wanna do here, I wanna move myself back a tiny bit. Now I step foot right on his belt line. Now with my knee comes faster. Okay, so make sure you go hard. So make sure you go, go slow because that hurts. So when I hit right here, his elbow's pretty straight. So now if I put pressure, tap. he taps right there. He has no hands to tap, so he's gonna say tap. So from here, you just keep tight. He won't be able to come into me because my last is blocking him, okay? And he won't be able to go away either because I have two hands pulling him in. So from here, I just go right there tap. and tap, okay? So it's very, very strong. From here, last close guard, okay? I can't even change the side, actually. I'm gonna go on the other side. Here, last foot on the hip, sh meet, uh, the knee meets in the shoulders. Foot goes on the mat, break Matt's posture up going that way. He did not fall, bring his arm right here. Now step right there. Now I cannot get good angle right here because my, my shoulder line. So what I'm gonna do is, before I step, I wanna do this. Oh, that's the trick. Now from here, I step on it. My knee goes right there. So you guys can see, I'm, I let it go so you guys can see the perfect angle. So from here, very tight, so make sure you keep tight and then hit it really Tap. hard right there. And that's the umbar, the reverse umbar that I like to do from last guard. Okay, so let's jump into it. What happens if he defend? The only way he gets defend is an inch of when he turns from here, right? I'm gonna go lasso deep, boom, foot on the mat, turn, break his posture up change my angle of my body here. Now, when I'm going for the umbar, he realized he turned. That's it, I missed my time. Now, it's okay. All I have to do is this foot goes on the mat. Now, let go the lasso so you don't get stuck. Let go the lasso, change right here, and I'm gonna start coming up for the omoplata. Omoplata idea, I like to get the far collar. Now, I don't like to lock my figure four because I get stuck. Keep holding his hands so we keep his elbow in a line. Now I'm gonna move myself sideways using this leg to push myself that way. So I flat him down using this grip, elbows there. So now to finalize this uh, omoplata finish, bend my leg, don't go diagonal. I like to go straight. So keep this grip, keep this grip. Now I wanna go that way and finish. If I go straight right there, this shoulder comes off the ground. So which from here, look how he follows me. Okay, I wanna go straight and finish right there. 
okay? So one more time, one motion here, lasso, hit, foot off the hip, turn, now move my body, I go for the umbar, he turns, lasso, flows, here, now I move myself away to flat him down, bend my leg, and then move straight ahead, okay? And the final one, which is one of my favorite ones by far, is the shotgun umbar, right? But how can I do this? Shotgun umbars I do without the lasso, but I implement and I put it together with the lasso, so it's really good and strong. Trust me, it hurts. So, uh, I hate to say that it hurts, but it really does. So from here, the fast in your jiu-jitsu today, there is eight amazing instructionals for you to level up. There is three lasso guard instructionals, one for each needs. There is winning double knee position. Everything starts from the knees. There is a half guard plan, how to pass the half guard. There's two amazing close guard, one all about sweeps and one all about submissions. And there is also how to pass the lasso guard. If you wanna check it out, go at bjfanatics.com and don't wait, invest in your jiu-jitsu today. Now let's put it together. My house, my vision is the elbow. Go here, lasso, same approach, there, foot. Now I'm gonna turn, break Matt's posture. Now from here, make sure that you do this. Uh, you sit up, Grab the elbow, C grip from here to here. From this grip to here. C grip on the arm, okay? So make sure you bring this arm into armpit. Grab here, pinch, that's it, that's all it does. Now, step on the hip. Now I can let Matt posture up on his arm. And now the choke, the, the arm is right there. So I turn in, now Pinch my knees, I don't need the lasso, I can finish with the lasso in. Yep. Or I can let go of the lasso, block on the shoulders, and then go in. So look how my hands in the line of my hip, and that's the trick part. Same thing as an umbar, if my hip are here, umbar goes right there, okay? But the hand is just a tiny adjustment where I can go keep this lasso or here, pinch my knees nice and tight, and then yep. goes right there and comes quick. Okay, so the same idea when someone's past your guard. So for example, Matt, uh, just go uh, past the guard with the arm, like uh, getting down the hook. I'm gonna go here. And that's when the shotgun arm will come from. So shotgun arm will come from, from close the guard, which one day we can break it down. Matt goes for hands, yes. And now grab the elbow, and now he push it up. He stand up, boom. You can go right there. So there's so many ways, but I, I put it together from lasso, which is amazing. If you like to do lasso guard, this is your game. So one more time. From here, lasso guard. Get to my side, okay? Lasso from here, foot on the mat, right? So you know that. Break the posture, okay? Now I wanna bring these hands to my armpit a little bit, catch the elbow, okay? And then from here, get C grip, Lock, lock right here. But Mark, what happens if he doesn't push it up? If he doesn't push it up, I can use these hands to implement, finish from here, work the same way. Because I'm turning in, now my hip is under. Now I kind of like, I hit it sideways, sorry man, that hurts, okay? But he always gonna push it up because he doesn't wanna keep his face on the ground, right? So one more time, move this way a little bit, yes. From here, get there. Lasso here, break the posture, bring this arm to the armpit, lock, step. Now, if he doesn't want, I can use my lasso grip to support the shoulders, or make this grip, go back, go back, go back, or I can use my knees to turn, so my knees goes that way. That's it, that's why this benefits, so I turn my hip in from here, and then turn, now is the perfect angle. He won't be able to pull away because I'm holding, pinching the knees and tight. And then from here, it's right there. The shotgun armbar that happens super, super fast. So it's really good. If you like to, if you like to finish the fight, shotgun armbar should be your number one thing. Maybe if you guys like it, I'll, I'll film a shotgun armbar from a different angle so you study more because that submission is a really, really strong submission. 
Maybe in the future video I'll do a shot guard armor from close guard, from open guard, from different scenarios you guys like. But you guys have to comment to see if you guys like to see that. Just say I would like to shot, shot I would like to see a shot guard armor in a different scenario. I will do for you guys. But only if you guys comment and asking for. Okay. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, I really appreciate your support. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's help us grow. And I'll do my best to uh, uh, share with you guys the best details to elevate your jiu-jitsu, okay? So thank you so much, bigos.